right into this look i'm going in with the 350 m palette and i'm placing that all over my crease and then after that i'm going in with the 35 b palette with that bright red color and i'm placing that right underneath right here i am taking this sort of maroon color and i am just patting that in right there as you can see just like i'm doing right here i'm going back in with that bright red from that 35b palette and kind of blending that everywhere in circular motions and right here i am taking a clean brush and just blending everything together So for me, this was the hardest part of this look because I wanted it to mimic the other eye to a T. So what I'm doing, I'm just looking up, giving me a guideline so that I can cut as sharp as I can to create that half cut crease. Going in with this navy color from the 35B palette, it's the darkest blue in the palette and I'm just packing that on and I'm gonna bring it out a little bit past the cut crease as well so it creates kind of this purplish color so right here i'm going in with this anastasia beverly hills highlighter from the ultimate glow palette i think and it's called golden dawn it's so beautiful and so right here i'm just going in and blend that outer edge and i'm done with the eyes so right here i'm just going in with my smashbox photo finish primer just rubbing that in and for my foundation, I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me in 355 Coconut. And I kind of just let it sit on my cheeks because I have dark marks on my cheeks. And I find that when you let your foundation sit there for longer, you get a little bit more coverage. So that's why it's just standing there, sitting there like that. So right here, I'm going in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in Tan Sand and Tan Deep Sand. And so right here, I'm just trying to make the concealer kind of clean up that eyeshadow that you see right there. So right here, I'm going in with my Sasha Buttercup powder. Um, I really didn't use to bake, but for the last past month or so, I have. So right here, I'm going in with my Morphe 350M palette. I do contour with this palette. I love it for contour, and it's just a great nude slash natural palette to have for anything. So right here, I'm just going under my waterline, basically, just to smoke out that red um, and just make the, the look um, balance with that red on the bottom. So this is the red from that Morphe 35B palette. And right here, I'm just adding that golden dawn onto the inner part of my lower lash line as well. So right here, I'm just going in with my Makeup Forever HD Duo Powder just to try to sweep off that Sasha Buttercup and give me some of my skin tone back, you know. Don't want to look like a little yellow ghost running around here. So, yes ma'am, this is what you have to do. So right here, I'm going in with some blush and it's actually the 350M palette. So yeah, that palette is my holy grail. <laughs> so right here you see me drowning myself in Fix Plus Spray. This is the Coconut Mist one. I recommend just get the regular one because that one is basically the same. Right here I'm just going in with my ABH Ultimate Glow in Sunray. Look at the highlight. Just look at it. Just just let that sit and marinate. Pop it. Mm. Yes. <laughs> 
So right here, I'm just doing the rest of my face. I already did my nose and my, well, my nose. Right here, I'm just putting on my lashes. I'm using Eyelore, the Jasmine Brown collection. So, in Curly Queen. It's so pretty. I love these lashes. Right here, I'm just going back in with blush. I like putting it all over my cheeks, actually. Everywhere. So, I go OD with the blush. Going in with my Revlon Dramatic Mascara. It's in the style dramatic. Um, I have the volume one as well, and it works just as good. They're better than any high end, in my opinion. <laughs> so, hop on. Y'all, the lights went out right here. I was so shocked. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> Y'all, the so right here, I'm just going in with a brown eyeshadow and a red line lip gloss. I don't know the name, y'all. I'm sorry. 